It's October, so it's all about the pumpkins. Leanne Lee from Rekindled Spaces is back to share some great ideas for adding pumpkins to your fall decorating. And not necessarily real pumpkins, which I love that because you can use them the next year, the next year, exactly. the next year. That's what I love. I love being able to, you know, once again, repurpose them. We're mm -hmm. going to use them. We can redecorate them every year, but I just love working with these pumpkins. So now, sometimes the pumpkins don't look real. Yeah, you know, this these are the pumpkins that um I got these actually at Michaels mm -hmm. and I think the big thing about pumpkins is they look fake, you mm -hmm. know, the foam ones. So what we're going to do, I just want to show this to people because just because it's a fake pumpkin doesn't mean it has to look fake. Right. So, I just took some burnt umber paint. Burnt umber. Yeah. Okay. And I'm just putting a little water in here. I always have a water bottle mm -hmm. with me because it's easy. Mm -hmm. So all I did was just take the burnt umber and some water. Taking a brush. Okay. And I'm just going to rub it all over the pumpkin. Oh, okay. And what it does is there actually is some texture to this pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You just can't see it until you get some glaze on it. So see how there we just. There you go. Now we're dirt. Now the pumpkin's been sitting out in a field. Yeah. See what I buy I mean? it. Yes, I exactly. Totally buy it. And it'll dry matte, which mm -hmm. I love. And mm -hmm. so it just looks like a dirty pumpkin. Okay. Now the other thing I love about, you know, my life changing project things that I find, <laughs> right? You know, I call it life changing. I know you're excited about this one. This is, see the smoke coming off of it. It. This is not something that you'd want your kids to no, do, no. but you can do this. And this is an electric carving knife. Okay. It cuts through foam like butter. So it wow. literally, you can cut jack-o'-lantern faces. Mm -hmm. You can cut um, uh, initials. I love to take initials mm -hmm. and do that. You can take all kinds of things, and it literally just cuts right through it. That is fantastic. I know you have an example right here. I do. I have where you took the top off. Yeah. So what I did on this one, I just sliced the top off, mm -hmm. put some, glued some buttons on it, says boo. Just going to sit that down mm -hmm. there. Okay. And then um, glazed it up, stuck a mum in it. I mean, how easy is that? And it's so cute and unique. Yeah. And definitely. you can make it your own. You could put an initial on it, whatever. Okay. This one right up here. Okay. First of all, I had to make Michael a Liberace pumpkin. <laughs> that is a blinged out, decoupaged, sequined, fleur de lis. Um, wow. Rhinestoned out pumpkin just for Michael. So, wow. Yeah. That, that fits him perfectly. It does. <laughs> and then we've got this pumpkin up here. What I did was I just piped some caulk, some mm -hmm. silicone caulk on the pumpkin, let it dry, spray painted it in a metallic, put an initial on it. Perfect. This pumpkin, uh, I took some Modern Masters paints, watered them down, put them in a squirt bottle, run it down the oh, pumpkin. It's a squirt bottle. Yeah, so look how easy. I mean, oh, seriously, like anybody great. could do that. Now, we had the chalk paint on it a couple weeks back. We, we taught did. us how to make it and how to use it. Yes, and now I've used what it a on a pumpkin. Example. This was a white pumpkin. I put the chalk paint on, let it dry, sanded it back. I mean, you could do that in any color, and I love that. What? As oh, I knock it over. Got Sorry. pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> this one's really cute. This is just twine mm -hmm. rolled around with E6000, of course. Okay, your E6000 that yeah, you love. And then I just put a key on it because I cute. thought that was kind of cute. I like that. Yeah. And I love this one because it really does like um, it's screaming fall, isn't it? Just, yeah, it's colorful. It's fun. It's yeah. bright. And it's, it's it's working with something like this where you're like, eh, that's boring. Let's have fun with it. Exactly. And I mean, you know, I couldn't stop with that. No, I just kept I know. Going. You just had so much fun. So, okay, I have to tell you this. E6000 now has a spray adhesive. <laughs> So, yeah, crazy. But I sprayed this pumpkin, put some cheesecloth on it. Now we have a mummy pumpkin. Oh, that's so cute with the little and in, eyes. And in case we can't get to anything else, I have to show you the thumbtack pumpkin. Okay, this is a styrofoam pumpkin. Okay. Um, it was actually at the dollar store. It has a seam that goes across it, which I didn't like, so I was looking for something with texture. So this is just thumbtacks that we've put all over the pumpkin. I mean, isn't that... I mean, that, that is, is awesome. Cool. And kids can do that, but maybe, I don't know, older kids. Yeah, I mean, I think this could be a good kid's craft. <laughs> and you'll be able to uh, find the instructions for decorating yes. most of these pumpkins yes. and a link to Leanne's new website later on today at CaseyLive.tv. And I know there's something at Michael's where you can take advantage of. Yeah, $5 pumpkins. Mm -hmm. It's the nine and a half inch pumpkin. This Saturday, one to three, they get a pumpkin for $5 and all the stuff to decorate it. So Fun for kids. Yes, no definitely. doubt. Well, now we